All right, we're moving right along. Welcome back to Easy Emails Like a Boss. My name's LaMarshall. I don't know, I just tried adding a little flair to it. So we got our list all buttoned up, boom, ready to go. Okay, so we're gonna ready, we're ready, we're ready to get subscribers into there now. Well, not yet, we gotta get these emails started, right? We gotta start writing the emails. That's what we're gonna start doing right now. But in this very short video, I wanna just talk to you about the four different types of emails that we have in Aweber. Now, these are ones that you're gonna be switching back and forth from. You're gonna use one and you'll probably stick to it. And that's gonna be determined by your requirements. And you're gonna see, once I get started here in a little minute, what I'm talking about. So enough yakking, let's go. All right, so we're in here in Aweber. And what we wanna do every time you go to write an email, you wanna come over here in the navigation menu to the message section. And where we're concerned with today is right here, which we already have, what we already have selected, drafts, right? So we're gonna go into messages, drafts. This is where we start every email, okay? Now you're gonna come up here to the top right where we have this blue button, create a message. And when you click on this button, you notice there are four options here. These are the ones I just briefly wanna talk about in this video. So instead of starting from the top and working down, let's start from the bottom and work our way up. I just like doing things differently sometime. Well, there's also another reason why, but we'll, we'll find that out later. Okay, look at we got the bottom one here, HTML editor, hypertext markup language editor, right? This is all what you see when you do web pages, all the servers render them to this HTML or most of it to HTML. Well, we can also do this with Aweber emails. So if I'm putting you to sleep by now, yeah, this is something I this option I don't use to write my emails, but I just want to show you. I'm going to go in here very quickly. We're not gonna go into too much detail. This is what it looks like. And you literally, I don't know if you can, I don't know how much I can blow this up. So you can see my cursor right here. So I'm just gonna write like one line, like something like this. Uh, I'm gonna say, don't miss our amazing sale going on. Ah, yeah, this weekend, what about that? All right, and we'll do an explanation. So you, this, this isn't bad, right? So we can go here, we're gonna even put, we'll even do this, big sale. So let's say we wanna bold this big sale. We can underline it or bold it, right? So let's just bold that right now. And we can even say, we can take weekend. I just want to show you that you do have functionality here. And you can see we're not really getting into nuts and bolts. I just want to change that to red. And don't worry, in other videos coming up, I'm going to show you exactly how to use all these. So I'm just trying to show you that this isn't where you really want to be. Unless you do need to write, use HTML format for your emails. I just selected all this text and I'm going to just put put her in the center and maybe we're just going to take the font here and blow it up to 28 and instead of using like the default default font we'll use Arial. All right. So you notice we made these changes looking fantastic so far, right? Well, now let's say you're one of these kind of coder people this is i used to program be a software programmer for over 25 years of my life but again this isn't the option i'm i use from day to day but i just want to show you that it's here we can go i forget actually how to do it now i used to know um oh right over here on source so i went to the geeky stuff right here here's all the code that you see um, let me see if I can just kind of, for now, just blow this up. We're not going to spend too much longer here, but I just want to show you, right? So we've got this, we create this div, div, we're using this div tag in HTML, right? We got this body tag, head tag, this is all there. Here's HTML tag describing your whole document. It's all here, right? So all this going on, right, you can see where this is kind of big. But it says don't, and look at, you got you got the ampersand, pound, 39, semicolon. That's the little 
comma or I don't know what you call it, apostrophe thing, right? Don't miss our amazing, strong, right? Remember, big sale I wrote in bold, so it has the strong tags at the either end. But all I'm saying is, this is probably what probably most people don't want to use. And the reason why I'm showing it to you is to, like, if you have this need. So what I'm going to do is just save and exit, right? So what we are doing, we're back in the draft section. There's a save draft. Don't worry about it. We're going to get to that in a second. So let's work our way up. And then here's text, plain text message, all right? And the idea behind these now, like you, it's, they're very simple text. These tend to land in inboxes a little bit better than these emails that are all gussied up. But we're going to get into more of that later. This doesn't look much different than the HTML, right? But you look, you there's no, you can't make text bold. You can't change the size. You can't add hyperlinks. You can put links, but they would have to copy. So if we did, you know, this is our big sale going on right you can you can still like put things in capital letters obviously right like that but you can't change colors you can't add any hyperlinks you can add links like this oops I think you get the idea let me just let me just try that a little bit better. G-O-O-G-L-E. I can't talk type at the same time. So you can add links, but somebody to use that would have to, you know, swipe it like this, copy, and then paste it into wherever their address bar, right? So this, this is very limited, but if you have the need for just text emails, this is the option you would use. I'm just going to save and exit down to the bottom just to get out of this. Now you notice we have two drafts over here. No big deal. So I'm going to hit the create a message button again. And this is pretty cool here. Okay. This is the smart designer. This I believe is fairly new to Aweber. Um, so you can go in here. Now if you have a website, you can take the details, the branding, the images off your in the colors off of your website by putting your website in here. So I'm just going to use Google again. And I think you got to put HTTP colon in front of it, I believe. Okay, so we're going to then once you put your like this would be your domain here. You don't want to use Google, but this would be your domain for or your URL to your website. And then you're just gonna say, create my template. And what it's asking here is like, what is your skill on email marketing? We'll just split the difference, intermediate. I don't know what changes based on that, but you know, if you wanna use this, I have don't really use this, but if you, I'm just trying to show you that it is here. So we're gonna say, let's build an audience. So we're gonna choose this. So this is, they went out and looked at Google. You guys that know that I own the Google website, but you can see all these different templates, okay? So this one's kind of cool. We'll kind of focus on this one right here. I just happen to like blue. Um, but you can see, obviously your website would be up here. You know, something about your website would be in here this call to action buttons here and we've got an image placeholder we can write a little caption so if i want to use this i just click on it and then save your template all right now let's see select your list we only have one list so if you had the pro version i'm showing the free version in this demo you would you can have more than one list and then you can name it whatever you want i'm just going to leave it that and import it comes into your email editor which is right here now you're able to do whatever you want i'm not going to spend too much time because i'm going to explain all this in for you know videos coming up so we got the button here i just clicked on it. you can see like the properties over here remember i typed in google right here that was the url so they have a weber put that in there so let's scroll down. I'm just going really fast. I'm just kind of showing you like how you can start with your website to create an email template. Now what I can do, this is an image element. I can come over here. I'll just use something in my image gallery. I'm just picking something right off the bat. So you can see, you can just drop in images here 
and I can just do that again take a different image um, oh I don't know we'll just take this one right so you can see how all you're doing is just selecting right and then you'd have to type in here change whatever this says to make it whatever you want and this little toolbar comes up and we're going to talk about all this stuff where you can change the justification underlying bold change the you know the height of the font how big it is the type of the font used so we have all these features by now you're probably used to seeing all this every single wordpress word processor and spreadsheet program around anything uses all this kind of stuff so it's not too foreign or shouldn't be so i'm just gonna so this is the one where we started from the website template all right i'm gonna just save this we don't need this now the last one i want to show you this is the one i always use here the drag and drop email builder okay and the reason why i showed you the other three just so in case you have a need i want you to know that that's available now i'm not going to go through the editor in this video we are going to go through the editor starting in the next video but this is my choice okay so when we go and create an email and we pick we're going to use the drag and drop editor the top option that's all i ever use when i use aweber but just real quick and like i said we're going to go over this again this box up here where my cursor is is where you're going to put your email subject line and you know you can do that right away you can wait so you know big sale today i don't think that would hit the spam box would it and we're going to talk about inboxing and all that as well in upcoming videos as so here we're just using different elements so if you wanted like we we were using that image element remember that was already in the template so if i wanted to add an image down below this i'm just going to drop it like well let's see why isn't it going it usually does if i come over here yeah so see how i've got that blue bar now i'm using my left mouse button holding it down and dragging so it takes a little bit just kind of moves slow now i can just click on this image and then we're gonna we can add the image and change properties you can upload an image from your computer i'm just going to go back to the image gallery these are like my images these are um oh sorry these are aweber's images these are some of my images that i use because i'm like my version i have the pro version i'm not showing you that here i create this free version so my image is like i totally filled like it's hundred i don't know if there's hundreds but there's a lot but aweber has all these stock images that you can use as well and that's kind of what i was doing so i don't know we'll just throw in an image and get out of there so now if i wanted to kind of preview what i've got here so far which is nothing i just went over here and the blue there's a blue button preview and test so we can see all this and like i said we're going to go through this much much slower i'm just going to do uh, i'm going to go back to the editor and you can even add videos right so we can drag over the video element let's see let's try that again so i got my blue bar and then drop once you see that blue bar you can drop and then when you click on the element this the properties i call them change over here so the destination url you could put if you have a youtube video um even uh, on any video it doesn't even matter it could be a video from anywhere as long as you have the url for it you just drop it in there and then the video will come in here and yeah so this is the, this is the one we are going to use all right and i'm just going to save and exit Bef before i end this video one thing i want to say is on the next video when we start talking about the the drag and drop editor i really want you to practice over and over you can see like i just showed you the four different um, types of emails here and we're in this draft and we have all these drafts sitting here right don't worry about having stuff in here when you first get started it's just easier to just be doing re things repetitive make them easy to use because we, i'm going to show you how to do all this we can delete them 
it, it's fine. You don't you don't pay per email. You can have a million emails in there, or you can have one. It doesn't matter. Um, so this is kind of neat. You might as well just once you get in the habit of having you know just using these really you know making it easy just to use the tools in front of you. So that's why I just wanted to show do this video to show you there were four types of emails that you can do but what I'm going to do through the rest of this training now is what I use every single day just the drag and drop editor all right let's go I'll see you on the next one